Hey, good Monday morning. Are you snowed in wherever you're at? Are you? Well, guess what? Oh, it's not Monday morning when I'm recording this. So, you know, I'm just, I don't know if I'm going to be snowed in. Uh, all right. So a little bit of humor for you guys here, you know, over, uh, Hey, you know what this place is about. This is a place where we make fun of the dumb stuff we see out here on the road. So fire district 26, I don't know, so, some fire department. They said that they had a fire. You can see here on the screen. You can read it. I'll kind of read it if you're not paying attention or if it's too small. If you can't read it on your screen, uh, let me read it here for you. A friendly reminder not to park in front of the engine bays. That's, you know, at a fire department. In case you know, someone didn't know. Last night, the company was requested by Hometown Fire to assist on a commercial fire okay as crews arrived to the station we found a 53 foot semi truck as a trailer you know but has 50 uh parked in parked in front blocking all three bays so this driver says hey here's a fire department must be a safe haven by god they could go drop off babies unwanted babies at fire department maybe i could drop myself off there too you know, so he goes over there and parks. It goes on to say the engine was shut off and the driver was sleeping in the sleeper. A guy ran out of hours at a fire station. He had 30 seconds to move on his own or he would have been moved by our front bumper. Now, listen, God bless you, fire department guys. Hey, here's a drink to you. Here's a little sip. But I don't know, but I just don't think a fire truck is going to be able to move a semi without, well, getting damaged. I'm just saying, I, I think it, that wouldn't have not worked. But we catch a drift. You are going to forcibly move it. We realize this post likely won't make it to his phone, but a friendly reminder for the rest of the public, don't park in front of the emergency service bay's doors for any reason. Feel free to share. Listen, I don't know how stupid you could be. I just don't know. Here's a picture of the truck. Let me uh, move it up here. I don't know how stupid you, you're going to be in park in front of a truck and go to sleep. Hey, I'm out of hours. That's not a safe haven, folks. Dude. And this is what I'm sitting here thinking, and, and you guys could probably sit here and think what I'm thinking. He's probably like, uh, uh, no savvy, or darka darka, or... So I said, don't know no daggum English, all right? They just got a hole in the daggum floor like we are next struggling, all right? I, I don't... I, I just... Listen, the, the, these truck drivers, there's some common sense... And, and, and I hope you guys that watch this channel, I hope you guys have the common sense. I think you do. If, if, if you weren't here watching this video, then you're probably, you're probably not the problem. Share this video to any freaking company in the Chicagoland area. I'm just saying, just start there. And just start sending my whole channel. So don't be on bonehead truckers. They'll probably say, I'm never, 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 never send the Russian mafia off of you. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Be safe out there in this weather. This weather is freaking crazy. It's cold. I don't like the cold. I'm from Texas. I just want to go find someplace warm down south. This Blue Tiger headset is freaking solar powered, man. Freaking solar powered. Like you ain't got to sit there and worry about it. Losing its charge. It's charged by the sun. Like a bunch of truck drivers I know out there. Freaking Blue Tiger makes this. If you want one of these, go check them out. I got a link down there in the description below. Save 10% off. Man, I tell you what. Redneck like me don't know what to do. Being all solar powered. Ain't got no cord. Blue Tiger solar powered. It's the world's first solar powered headset. I guarantee you this is a game changer.